Fox 9 News at 530, raising the curtain on Minneapolis's theater district, how the Guthrie and Orpheum are preparing to welcome back audiences. Plus, there's a nursing shortage across the country, and now many schools are having trouble finding educators to teach prospective nurses. And the Gophers getting ready to face off against Purdue after a tough loss to Bowling Green. What coach P.J. Fleck says need to, needs to change before this weekend. This is Fox 9 News at 530. Thanks for joining us here at 530. It's been a long time coming. Tomorrow, two Minneapolis theaters are welcoming back audiences. Now, these will be the first shows at the Guthrie and Orpheum in 18 months. Fox 9's Rob Wilson joins us live from Minneapolis. Rob, quite an effort to get these theaters ready. Yeah, a lot of work to be done. Uh, 18 months off is a long time. So not only do you got to get ready to open again, you got to rehire staff, you got to train them, you got to make sure safety protocols are in place. A number of Twin City stages are set to open over the next month or so. But these two, the Orpheum and the Guthrie across town, opening night resumes tomorrow. Live theater's back. When stages went dark as COVID roared in, just like everything else with the pandemic. We thought maybe two weeks at the most. No notion it would take so long. Here we are a year and a half later. Allison Angabretz and her son John were buying tickets to Frozen at the Orpheum from a family of avid theater goers and this break for them has been too long. We were just talking about that. Yeah. It was uh, Phantom of the opera in November of 2019. We had a show right before the pandemic hit and then everything shut down. The Orpheum lifts their curtain Thursday. After 18 months and rehiring staff and a whole lot of work rescheduling. It's like a giant jigsaw puzzle. So it's not just our theater, it's theaters across the country. On the other side of downtown, the famed Guthrie Theater also reopens on Thursday, also with a touring production and also with the same last minute scrambles to have all those things in place you didn't need for a year and a half. The Guthrie will require proof of vaccination or a negative PCR test for all guests of all ages. At the Orpheum, they'll require vaccination for those 12 and older, but kids under 12 don't need anything. But both theaters will require masks for everyone. It's a lot of work to restart. It takes a lot of uh, pride and dedication, really, and it all comes back to you. But at long last, it's actually happening. Yes, yep. let's go. Yep. Go theater. Yeah, and a lot of requirements, too, for the actors to wear masks as soon as they get off stage. Uh, as well. The Orpheum is doing something else here too. They tell me that uh, they'll be opening a little bit early so people can come and get their vaccination uh, checked as well and then maybe go off and come uh, get dinner and then come back because they know that process will add a little extra time to getting in, taking your seats before the lights go down. Live in Minneapolis, Rob Wilson, Fox 9.